So Rach and I just saw this, this really cute little old lady waiting at a, uh, waiting on traffic to go by. So she crossed the street. She had a walker and uh, we were far enough away that we just kind of witnessed it. We could just tell um, that she was just sitting there waiting for cars, waiting for cars, waiting for cars. And when no car was in sight, she finally, she took out her walker and she just slowly made it across the street and then got her in her car. And uh, it was, it was something to witness. And what we started talking about was how there was a time and place where, like, I think we tend to think that she just was always that way. We look at older people and we're just like, oh, they were always that age. They were always that age to us uh, because we grew at the same level. You know, your grandma always has seemed the same age to you, even though she's gotten older and older and older as you've gone along. But the reality is that she was one day just like you are right now. She was just, she was a six-year-old. She was a 12-year-old running around and she's just slowly but surely gotten to a point where she's not strong enough to just carry her body the way that she wants to. So she has to use a walker, which is fine. Some of that is probably a little bit inevitable, but there are certain things that you can do to mitigate that. And we see people coming into the gym on a pretty regular basis and that are they have a lot of mileage on their body. We'll say it that way. Cause it's not the years. It's not the years that breaks down your body. It's not the years that takes away your joints. It's not the years that gives you the aches and pains. It's the mileage. It's sitting in a chair for eight hours a day for 20 years. That's what it does. It's not the years. If you consider that one repetition is 10 seconds, then you're going to have six repetitions in a minute. In an hour, you're going to have, what is that? A 360 repetitions. And in an eight hour period, uh, Alexa, what's 360 times six? Alexa didn't answer me. Alexa, I did it wrong anyway. Alexa, what's 360 times eight? 360 times eight is 2,880. That's 2,880 reps a day if you were to sit for eight hours. And most of us probably do sit for about eight hours. Now that's a lot of harm on your back and a flexed position. And you wonder why what might be going on is that uh, with, uh, with the amount of stenosis that we see, 87% of people walking around right now, we pull them off the street, 87% of people have some kind of stenosis in their low back. That means uh, spondy, bulge, herniation, something, right? Uh, but we just get to a point where our bodies have just gone through some wear and tear, even if it is just sitting down in a chair. Nothing wrong with sitting, it's part of your day. You should sit a little bit, but you should also get up and move and put stressors on your body so that you can take care of your health. Anti-aging starts today, it doesn't start 20 years from now. Because that little old lady, one time, 40 years ago or 20 years ago or whatever, was still walking around, able to put weight on her body, able to do a goblet squat, able to carry weight, able to do deadlifts, able to do push-ups in a way that's appropriate for her, obviously, but able to do some kind of strength training to mitigate some of the stress that she was gonna have as she got older. The thing is, you're gonna have 20 years, 20 years, 20 years, 20 years. Uh, maybe you get five sets of 20 years. And I hear this all the time when people first start at the gym. They say, I wish I would have done this 20 years ago. Or they say, you know what I like about this place? I feel better at 60 than I did at 50. I get that one pretty often too. I get those two on a very regular basis, like more than once a month. I wish I would have done this 20 years ago. Man, I feel better at 60 than I did at 50. Now that's a pretty great thing because that's, uh, that's taking some mileage into account. We have to program for those people appropriately. But what you do today or reverberate, you get a result no matter what. Now, the result can be a reward or it can be a consequence. You get to decide, but you always get a result. Either you're gonna sit on a couch and you're gonna start looking like that couch, or you're gonna get up and move around and get something out of it. And I strongly encourage, do whatever you can. Please do whatever you can to get yourself in shape and then stay there. Okay, do whatever you can to keep your body fat low. Do whatever you can to keep your muscles strong. Do whatever you can to keep yourself in shape because we've seen this, I see this on a daily basis where it's just, it's heart-wrenching what people go through when they lose their health. Please, what you do today will reverberate for the next 20 years and beyond that. Okay, so do the thing today. Okay, anti-aging doesn't start 20 years from now. It starts with what you do today. And if you're interested in working with us, go to gritgym.com and slash how to start. And there's a form there that you can fill out and then we'll give you a call and we'll have you in and see how we can help. But go to gritgym.com slash how to start. What you do today is very, very important. It's way more important than what you're gonna do in 20 years. Uh, remember, you always get a result. It's gonna be a consequence or it's gonna be a reward. Pick the one that you do want.